statistics, basic statistics, descriptive statistics. All right, statistics, basic statistics, descriptive statistics. I'm going to type in the column. So now you have to type it in. So in, in Statcato, you type in C1 for column 1, C2 for column 2, C3 for column 3, and so on. Don't, do not click this button that says by variable. That's going to make everything look crazy. Don't do that. So leave this one alone. Um, and then uh, you, can, you can see all the different statistics. So in skewed data, you want the quartile. So I want the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, interquartile range. Those are the main ones. Also, I like to always find the min and the max and how many numbers are in my data set. So I like to know the end total. So these are the ones that I would click on if you're, you're looking at a skewed data set. That's why, by the way, I also always find the shape before I decide what statistics to calculate. If you notice, I'm not even calculating the mean or the standard deviation because I know they're not accurate in this, in this case. All right, just push OK. And there we go, we got them all. So there's the same numbers we got off of um, stat key. So we had the quartile 1, quartile 3. Again, the computer subtracted Q3 minus Q1 to get IQR. So in stat Cato, they give you IQR. You don't have to calculate it yourself. There's the median average, there's the min and the max, and the end total. Now, what about a box plot? There is a little bit of issues with box plots in Statcato. One of the things, and it's not actually just Statcato, other programs uh, are having similar issues. Um, StatCrunch, Minitab, similar programs to Statcato have a tendency to take off the outliers, which I really do not like at all. Um, so if we click graph and histogram, I'm sorry, uh, hit graph and box plot, um, watch what happens. I'm going to click C1. Again, do not click this group by button. Okay, that'll just mess everything up. Um, and again, you can have a vertical or a horizontal. If you click show legend, it'll put a title on the graph for you. I'll put this horizontal. Now what you see here is all the, all the stars are left off, right? All the outliers are left off. The, it's only going to the high whisker and the low whiskers, which is not good. So um, I noticed that here in my maximum value was 500. Am I seeing 500 on this box plot? I'm not. The top is seeing just 200. So one thing we can do is zoom out on this thing. So I really want to zoom out so I can see the outliers. So what you do is if, if the, you get this, you, you right click and you click zoom out and then range axis. So you right click on the graph and then you click zoom out and range axis. And notice now it's, I can see up to 300. And I'm going to zoom out again. So I'm going to go right click, zoom out, range axis. There we go. Now I'm seeing 500. So if you notice in Statcato in the, um, in the outliers, you'll see circles and triangles. Um, so uh, these are all outliers. The circles and the triangles are all outliers. Uh, Statcato actually makes the distinction between something being a far out outlier or really extremely far out outlier versus just a regular outlier. They're all real outliers though so for my students I just tell them just list all of these. Again if you hold your cursor over the symbol the triangle or the or the um, it'll tell you what that number was and you can write them down. So Don't click on it just hold your cursor right over the triangle or the circle and the computer will tell you what it is. Okay so that way you can get all the outliers. Also, if you hold your cursor over the, this one, it gives you the, the, the median and the, and the quartiles and the max. Um, by the way, the, where it says max there, it's actually the max that's not an outlier. So notice it, the max said 200. It's really talking about this whisker. The top whisker went to 200. It'll also give you the bottom whisker. The interesting thing about um, Statcato is they actually do this dot. This dot here in the box plot is actually the mean. So it's used for comparison purposes. You can see how the mean is a little bit higher or off from the median. This is also why we, we prefer to use the median uh, as our average instead of the mean. So you can kind of see the mean has been pulled up a little bit from the center. Okay, so this is the box plots on Statcato.
So don't forget, right click, zoom out, range axis. <laughs> it seems like I always have to do that a bunch of times to see the outliers. All right, so I'm hoping this was helpful for you. So this is how to use software to calculate statistics and graphs for um, skewed quantitative data. All right, this is Matt Touchot in Intro Stats. I will see you next time.